people keep asking about well let me get the light in here People keep asking about uh, this version of Afterburn. It's the newest one, whatever version that is, I forget. It will actually might not even be the newest one now. But they keep uh, asking about, you know, because there used to be two different ty ty types of Afterburn light. There used to be a shadow map and there used to be a ray trace. And there's no longer that option. There is a there is a way though sheesh, where did it go? Ah, I see. This is um this is now how you control that because there's only one selection. You just control it underneath the um the shadow map parameters. It'll give you the same controls that you used to have. Um, yeah, maybe people don't care. By the way, that was important to some people. So, right away, you have one explosion there. And we will open our environment tab thing. And we will add the light add the light here we will add the light and in the secondary explosion we will add the light now in order for this the light to even work we have to make sure a that the the shadows box is selected for this for the light itself and then you need to go into well let's Let's blow up one thing first. Alright, so let's render that the way it is. Okay, so we have the initial explosion. That's the kablooey. And let's turn on our cast, receive, and self shadows for all of these. Now, it's the shadow cast and receive isn't so bad. It's the self shadowing that murders your uh, your render time there. So the last frame took about, uh, hold on, the last frame took about, fifteen seconds. Mm, I'll see how long this takes. I mean, there isn't much to do, but it's going to be more than fifteen seconds. Okay, how long was that one? Anybody count? Phone call. Be right back. Oh, 19 seconds. Okay, four more seconds. But believe me, that starts piling up once you get uh, you get all these things blowing up. Anyone have a guess how long this will take? Any guess? Let's see. I won't make you sit through it. I'll hit it. Alright, it rendered. Any guesses on how long it took? Anybody? I don't know either. Um, a minute 13. Okay, not so bad. But, uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial I mean like the rest is just kinda dressing like um we had a ground plane in there at one point didn't we uh, 
scene extras yeah good so if we rendered this we should get kiwi bots no <laughs> oh that's right they're not even in there yet um well I turned that off particle view geometry okay there so we have kiwi bots <coughs> show me kiwi bots so that was like the family feud <laughs> that was cracked me up okay so now we have random kiwi bots strolling around uh, I could get more on a ground level with these guys and zoom in. Get in the crowd a bit. Into that, and that's how I made that. Um, from here, we will or we can. Well, we'll set that to zero. Three twenty, it goes to. Remember, we determined three twenty because that's the point where the animation stops. Again, let's render. And what you want to do at this point is you want to render this out. Um, sheesh. Maybe I'll, I'll render. I don't want to do the whole thing because it just eats up time, really. <laughs> I don't really want that. I don't care for that part. And uh, the tutorial will pick up. I'll take you inside After Effects, where I add a glow to the explosion, um, a camera shake. I'll take you inside of Magics, where um, I show you how to add sound effects, which you can then add in After Effects also. Uh, let's see, lens flare, there will be a glow, and we'll add a camera shake. And that's what we'll cover in After Effects when this is done rendering. Well, like I said, I'm just going to render one. Alright, so I'm going to render now. My phone's ringing again. I'll let this render when we come back After Effects, okay? Later.